Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm on to do our mixed media challenge for September in our Crafty Patch Facebook group. So this month I thought I might try something a little bit different, something a little bit fun and make some graffiti art in our journals. I haven't done this well sort of technique Oh, for at least five years six years and it will be it'll be so fun and easy guys I'm going to do this as a step-by-step -step so that you can all do it um, and you shouldn't have any trouble doing it okay what you'll need um, you'll need some type of tape whether it's masking tape or washi tape I was just looking for my... Mm. Okay, so like I, I've got this masking tape. This is about, I think it's about an inch wide, but I think that's going to be too wide for me to use. So I just pulled out some of my older washi tapes uh, that are just a little bit on the smaller side or thinner side to use so I think I might use this size side size here I suppose that's about I'll just give it a measure what is that size about a quarter of an inch yeah I'm going to use some washi tape that's a quarter of an inch but if you haven't got washi tape you could use masking tape you could use um, electrical tape you want something that is that will stick to your page but then will be easy to rip up when you've finished putting it down and you'll need some paints and you'll need some some kind of stamp rubber stamp or foamies or even a dishcloth you know the spongy dishcloth that you've cut into a shape like a heart or something like that or a circle first step is to actually choose four main colors so i just grabbed some of my kaiser craft paints i've got sea breeze hot pink orange and a yellow so they're going to be my main four colours and you'll also need like a black and a white paint as well. Okay, so that's the first step. I've got my four colours. Uh, the second step is to get your page, whether you're using your art journal or just a piece of paper, and to section it off um, using your tape. So I'm just going to use these tapes. Now, my tape here is not very sticky, so I don't think I'm going to have trouble pulling it off. But if your tape is very tacky on the back, you can always press it against your clothes a couple of times because that takes a lot of the tackiness off, okay? So what you want to do with your tape is just to start sectioning off your your page okay and you can make them as big as you like you can make them any size you like so long as it's just all sectioned off okay so I'm going to use I'm going to go for a double page in my art journal and I'm just going to start putting my tape down so that I've just got different shaped um, then I was going to say squares they're not different shaped patches on my on my page okay and you want the tape you want to put the tape on so that it doesn't actually cover um, the line of your other tape over here okay so you've got nice crisp 
lines on your page okay so I'll put that one up to there bring that down there I just hope this old washi stays on here after I put the paint on it it should I think because it's not very tacky mine isn't anyway so when you when you're sectioning off your page it can be any shape you like okay all right and they can be as big as you like as well so I might put another one down here just cut get my scissors just snip that one off there okay so on my double page so far I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so I might just mix this up a bit more Okay, that one, there, and I think I might just put another one just here. I sectioned off my pages, my double page, so the next step is to paint all your individual parts so I will start with yellow and I'm just I've got hang on I've got to wash that brush I've got black on it for some unknown reason I don't really want to put black on there yet okay I did have black on there all right we'll try again hopefully I won't get any black on there this time so all you do is just go and paint your individual patches try not to go over your your marked off line your washi tape or your tape okay First, give them a nice paint. All right. And when you paint one, you kind of like, because you've got the other three colours, so you might have another colour, another colour, another colour, another colour. So you'll skip like one of the sections and just put this the same colour you don't really want you want to kind of like mix it up you don't want to have the same color next to each other okay so it's going to be like patchy like a patchwork okay all right so whoops I got I need some more yellow Alright, so I might put that one there. Like I said, the last time I done something like this was, wow, five years ago, and I just really enjoyed it. It's just something a little bit different. But it looks so cool when you finish them, guys. When you finish your page. Okay, so and I might might just put another one 
just stop over here of the yellow so I'll put that paint over there So I'll put some yellow on. Now I will clean my brush and the next colour I think I might do is I might go orange. Okay so I'm going to put some orange here. I do find this really relaxing and I'll put an orange oops here I think I find it relaxing because I know it doesn't have to be perfect okay it's just for fun And if you do find that you're stressing out about it, just stop doing it. Just don't do it until you feel that, you know, I can do this, but I can just enjoy myself and not stress about whether it's going to be perfect or anything like that. Okay. All right. So I've got that there. And I might do another orange just up here okay so when you do yours just uh, think okay I don't really want like two oranges exactly side by side you know just like try and spread them out if you can okay so I've got the orange I'm going to clean my brush and might come in with the pink that's a hot pink okay so I might put a hot pink up here okay so we've got a hot pink there and I might put one just here I do like that pink so I'm going to do another one and I'm going to put it down in this corner down here okay I do like that pink hot pink okay and my last color I'm going to use is the blue 
which is actually called Sea Breeze from Kayser Craft. Wash my brush. So we've got that one. And up the top first. And my last little panel here, my last little shape. Okay, I have all my little sectioned off sectioned off panels painted. So I am going to give that a dry with the heat gun. You just let them dry now, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is you can just grab like um, a gel pen or a paint marker. These these ones here I've got there, the Montmartre, Montmartre paint, paint pens. This one here is a gel impact pen and this one is a Stadler tripless fine liner so I think I might just use my paint pen and what I would like you to do now is to go and in one say one to five of your shapes just put right down a positive word okay or write down some some word in your own handwriting it does not have to be perfect guys so and what you can do you can write them at a different angle so this one here I'm just going to write the word create it's if my paint pen will work let me just press that down a bit okay see R a T E and it doesn't have to be perfect okay guys but what I think I might do is just dry that paint a bit more because it still feels a bit tacky okay that should be better a bit drier okay so I've got create I am going to write um, love in this one it can be as big as small it can be in running writing it can be in capital letters it can be in small letters okay so I've got create love then up here, if I'm in shop, yes, I'm in shop. Up here, I will write hope. Okay, hope. I can write my name somewhere so I might do that over this side here and write my name Okay, I have my name. Um, I'm going to put my paint pen down now and I'm going to pick up my gel, black gel pen and just write a few more words, okay? And I wrote number in that one up there. Okay, so my words, I filled up all my little 
sections okay I wrote my name Wendy 007 which is because I watched the movie the other night <laughs> that's the only reason it come to my head kindness fun home hope create believe love happiness aware art and help okay so what we do then is now we can take off our strips of washi and they should just come off so easy well mine should anyway now if yours are not coming off easy just grab your heat tool and hit them with your heat tool and that should make them less sticky less tacky okay but when you pull them up you've got wonderful little sections on your page and we are going to do more to make this look it I wouldn't say grungy but make it to look more as if it is graffiti okay all right so all my little bits of washi are up now the next step grab a pencil and just do I'll say scribble but what you can do is you can get um, you can pretend that you're writing a letter over your page but write it ill 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 uh, illegible <laughs> I have trouble saying that word write it so you can't understand it okay Just do some really wonderful scribbles. Now this pencil I've got is a 4B. So it's one of the, the darker, thicker pencils. So you do want to see it. Um, you can go that way, you could go this way. And if you think that you're going to be too neat when you start doing your scribbling, you can actually use your non-dominant hand and just do some like little scribbles like this as well and just try and cover your page with them okay so that was pretty simple wasn't it so the next step is we're going to do some stamping so with your stamps you can use like foam stamps this one here I made oh, eight years ago and I've still got it it's got um, like sticks on here for lines and these ones here are like foamy shapes um, the flowers are like foam this heart here I just cut out of, out of a piece of foam and put that on there you can use that for stamping I've also got some of these foamies um, I got these from uh, scrapbooking and craft here in Australia so I like that circle one and I might do this one here the star one as well but I'm going to use this one here because like this is one of my very first stamps and hopefully they'll still work with me okay okay and Phil I'm going you're going to use paint on your stamps okay so I might come in first and just use the colors your four main colors okay um, so I am going to I might put some blue just on my stars so I'm just going to paint that on 
okay and I'm just going to press that onto my page it does not have to be perfect guys that's the main thing about this all right so I'll just put that out of the road a bit and do a couple more I might just press the rest of that one off just down here okay so I've got that one on there and I might use this flower one or I might use this flower one okay and I'll just clean my brush I'm going to use some of that hot pink um, on what, yeah, this flower here. So I'm just going to paint that on and just start pressing that down on my page. move that one but that's okay like I said it doesn't have to be perfect it's really just like building up your layer layers upon layer with stamping and scribbling and paint okay and I might do just one more up here okay all right so I've used that one just wipe that off and I think I might come in and use let me think. I might use this other flower here and put some of my yellow on it. So I, I still want to put this circle shape on there as well. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of black now because I want to I do want to darken it up slightly my page okay so I'll paint the black on that one okay paint okay and I'll just start pressing this on here you can do as many as you like different shapes on your page if I press this sponge hard enough I also get the inside spongy bit on there as well which I like that looks pretty good on there Oops, lift it up. Okay. 
that one. I'll just and it's good to actually come off your page a little bit. So I'll do that just over here. But look how cool that is. Okay, I like that. Oops, throw it away. Uh, to clean these sponges up, I just stick them in a little bit of water. So I've got that on there, but I think I still want something else. So I might bring in my little, my old little block here. And I've got this shaped flower here that I'm also going to use with a bit of black on it. Oh, that looks so cool, guys. So, like I always say, the main thing for you to do is to just have fun. It does not have to be perfect. Alright, so I think maybe that's it for me. I like everything that's on there. Maybe another one up here, I think. I don't want it too close to that one, but that'll do. Okay, that's all done. Okay, I shall dry that up. Alright, so the next step is to just grab a, a pen, a black or a white pen. I have got my white one here. And just to outline some of your original shapes that you put on there. So with these little pink flowers here, I'm just going to do scribbly mark around them. Okay. They're not quite dry. And see, I have to do a squiggly mark around them because my hand has started shaking. <laughs> okay. And some of them aren't quite dry. So, the idea of this is just to highlight a few which brings them back into the foreground. And just to have fun with it. Okay. So, and I've got one more up here, I think. Yep. Okay. So, there's that there. And... What I also might do, while I've got my white one, um, I might just actually go around some of these circles and just do some squiggly circles around the shape that's already there. Okay? pretty good guys I like it okay so that is the marking with your pen your black or white pen and the very last thing is to put some splatters on there which I just love I don't know about you but I do love a good splatter and I can't find my oh I should not have tidied up the other day my little jar of white paint and it's right behind me, guys. <laughs> okay, I, um, I keep a little jar of watered down white. And that just uh, works really well for doing splatters, okay? I should do one for black as well, but I haven't got round to that as yet. Round to that yet. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty watery. Okay. 
and I normally get it everywhere but you know that's all right that doesn't bother me So just give it a, a good coat with splattering. Sorry, I hit that tripod. And yes, of course, I got the splatters all over me and all over my table and all over my paints up there. <laughs> and now I'm going to come in with some black. So I'll just wash a bit of that white off my fan brush and come in with a bit of water because my spray bottle's out with hubby. Okay, so I've just watered down a bit of black and I'm just going to come in and put some black splatters on now just to make it a little bit more messy, grungy, make it a little a little bit more looking like graffiti. Oh, I like it. That looks so lovely. And that's it guys, that is our challenge for September in our crafty patch. And I could keep doing this forever and ever and ever. I just love putting splatters down. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, I'm going to stop there. Alright guys, so that's our challenge for September in our crafty patch and it's to make a style of graffiti art and just to do it for fun just have fun look at that page doesn't that just look scrumptious <laughs> um, what I'm thinking now I could go and put a bit of white around these black flowers too but nah we'll just let it let it go all right so I'm sure you will enjoy that because the finished product actually looks like a total mess but it looks like a cool mess and like the messier it is you can just tell from it that the more fun you've had and you can still see a few of your words in the background oh, I can still see a few of mine you can just make them out you know so everything kind of like gets covered up if you haven't got a good handwriting it doesn't matter just have a go okay Put your word down and then stamp something over it. Alright? Okay, that's it guys. If you've got any questions about it, just leave it in our events section in group. And when you're finished, please post all your, your challenge pictures to our main, main group page. Okay, on our crafty patch. Alright, thanks everyone. You have a great day and have fun. I got paint on my fingers. I love it. Have fun creating and I will catch you later. Bye bye guys.